Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Musket. Very happy. <laughs> A lot of bias um, for Kef from me. Um, all right, let's get this. Kai. Yeah, I'm, I mean, like, no Lord or ba Bailey's improving, but I think he's a bit out of his element for this set. I don't think it's going to be that close, but who knows? Who knows? He could just pull a, an upset. Ready, go. <laughs> just think, it's just like, Kai's punish game is just so much better than Bailey's, and just everything like he's he like Kai's edge guarding, Kai's um, punish game. He has a much clearer understanding of neutral. Um, his recovery is a bit. It's, it's he's really just kind of outclass. Um, he's outclassing Bailey in pretty much every aspect. Which I mean, Bailey's the newer player. He's on the come up, but. There's always going to be those sets when you're on the rise, where you're just out of your element, you kind of get washed by someone who's a fair bit better. But he's keeping it, actually. For all my talk about this, he's kept it reasonably close so far for the um, first stop. So. The thing is, this is now where it gets a bit scary. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, you know, he, um, it's one thing to say even in percent to the first stock, but once you lose your stock, you need to, like, close out your opponents pretty quickly and not, not get into, like, too much of an aggressive mindset. You can't just think to yourself, man, I really just got to get this one move, because if you just try and fish for that one move, then they'll just avoid it, and then, or you approach needlessly aggressive and... But eventually closes it out. It's a full stock um, lead for Kai. But it is Falco Ditto's. It can be brought back pretty quickly, as seen by the second stock that Bailey last week kind of just went from 0 to 40 to dead in about 5 or so, well, 4 or 5 seconds. Oh, I got back to it. Ow. <laughs> and a really weird kind of like. I guess Kai was trying to get fled, but then just kind of stumbled a little bit. Okay, okay. Really shouldn't have worked, but well, I mean, it's, it's like I guess it's a mix up because like yeah, there's probably options that Kai can do that will um, cover um, Bailey jumping out. So if he goes for the shine stall, then that edge guard that Kai defeated but wouldn't have been jump out, but you know, such is life. Also, I have no idea if um, we're doing best of five for top six. I mean, this is top eight. Any like, this is um. Winners' quarters, so not so bad, I guess, but yeah, it's point is it's winners' quarters, so um, well, it's gonna be best of three anyway. Just holds on. Ooh. 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 
okay, 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 you know. <laughs> He's kept it even for an SD. If he, if he closes this out now, then he'll be feeling fine. Just to kind of ignore the fact that he got his current, like, lost his current deficit through an SD. But yeah, this is, this is looking a lot better for Bailey. Well, <laughs> well, it's one of those games. That's it, I mean, Kai is definitely brought um, deficits like this back very easily. Um, it's, like, I definitely don't think he's out of it by any means yet. I wonder when, when Bailey was on top flat and he was like angling his shield, like, but not actually shield dropping. I wonder if that was just him messing up the input or if he was actually like intentionally trying to lay out a uh, shield drop punish by pretending he was going for the immediate shield drop and delaying it. See, now this is... I've seen Kai win so many games in this spot. But, that should be it. Yeah, he just closes it out. Had a few slip-ups from Kai that game, but barely still played properly when he should, so... It's all good. We're going FD. This is... Uh, Kai is... I mean, I have no idea how much Bailey's practice punish game on the stage. Kai in the past did it, like... He loved practicing kind of game on spaces on stage. Um, that's it. One thing about Bailey is that his SD, at least he's like working on getting pretty good SDI. He has the kind of like the harsh wiggle method the um, control stick trying to get as many inputs and he's getting decent-ish SDI on stuff like box up there, so... Yeah, we'll see how we'll see how it goes. Because SCI, um, like SCI, is so crucial for anyone against, like any space against Falco on the stage. It's just you need to do, you need to make it as hard as possible for Falco to get his punishes. Um, it's not like you can just retreat. You can just like retreat to a flat, and that's when it ends. You you really got nowhere to go except off stage sometimes. Oh no, this. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, bit of a greedy S smash. I was just trying to call out a panic option from Bailey, and he just kept the measured, and just kept the measured hand, and just recovered properly. Oh. But yeah, we're back to about it. Pretty much, the, pretty much what this um, lead has been this game. Just that almost a soft lead. <laughs> Uh, sometimes Falco just lasers in place for a few lasers, and you're like, "What do I, what do I do to beat this again?" Oh, this is this is actually not a good look when you miss that many um, punch dashes. Especially from Kai, who's someone who I would say definitely has put in. Oh, oh, what a guy! What a guy! He's like the seventh bestie. Now is the time that now. Nah, I mean. I respect it. I respect it. Kept keeping it honorable. Keep, keeping it honorable, close. Uh, I don't think it's at any point necessary, but some people don't want to. They, they don't want to win that way, you know. If he's gonna win. He's gonna at least earn one stock, you know. <laughs> oh, not a good down air. That like full hop down air. Just... <laughs> He's, he's getting the hits. Oh, this is... Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you... He, he wanted it. He, he had he had it all in his, in his eyes. He was just like, this is going to get this sock, going to close it out. It's going to jet start my future career. 